Okay, let's talk about directional antennas. So 90% of the time, I'm going to tell you to use an 8dBi omnidirectional antenna from Rack Wireless to put it as high as you can with the least amount of obstructions around it. And in 90% of the situations, I still hold by that. I think it's true. I do that in all of my rental units. I do that in all of my hosted hotspots. But do as I say, not as I do, because at my own house, I use a 9 dBi directional antenna. And I've jumped back and forth between an omnidirectional and a directional antenna. For my particular house, uh, recently rewards started going down. I don't know what exactly happened with the network or what changes took place, but it was during that time I decided to jump back and forth and see what would happen. And what ended up occurring was that... Uh, I noticed the, well, with the rewards being what they are now, uh, with a omnidirectional 8 dBi antenna, I was getting somewhere between 0.3 to 0.5. When I had a 9 dBi directional antenna, I was getting something uh, more like 0.5 to 0.8. So... <laughs> I want more HNT, right? And uh, if I can get up closer to one HNT a day, I'm going to do what it takes. Except I'm um, dying on my roof. So, that being the case, uh, this is where approximately my antenna is located. In my attic, right up against that wall right there uh, to the outside of my house. Hopefully above the roof of my neighbor. And uh, as you can see, I've got a nice view of downtown, but uh, from there to the west of me is all mountains. And to the north of me, I have a hill that goes up, uh, ooh, I don't know how, how high it is to get to the top of the hill. <laughs> But um, yeah, I, I really doubt that I'm going to get many signals that direction. Uh, there aren't really any signals north of me anyway. And uh, to the east of me, I have a ridge line of houses. Sometimes I get over that. Sometimes I don't. Um, but because of all of this and looking at where, uh, where people are witnessing my hotspot from, I focus on downtown. So it makes sense to me. Now, a... Directional antenna, such as the one I have, has a angle horizontally of 70 degrees. So I have this 70 degree, 70 degree angle downtown to witness all my hotspots. Uh, and uh, yeah, that works for me. Now, consider the fact that a directional antenna isn't exactly directional. There are lobes that go in other areas. And there is some space behind the antenna that it'll get as well. But for the most part, it's focused on that 70 degrees. Also understand that between an 8 dBi omnidirectional antenna with a vertical angle of 15 degrees. Now, I don't like to go by these angles exactly because they're not exactly true, but we're using them as a reference point. So let's continue. Um, a 9 dBi antenna directional antenna uh, has a vertical of 60 degrees. So it's definitely wider getting downtown. And uh, as many people get concerned that, uh, you know, that 8 dBi has uh, too thin of an angle, um, well, they'll definitely feel better with a directional antenna. Now, all of this being said, I'm not really worried about distance in this. I mean, sure, as directional goes, it's going to go even farther than an 8 dBi antenna. But what is interesting to me is that we are talking about 9 dBi. Now, in terms of POC V11, uh, 9 dBi is the limit. It's the FCC limit of what they're allowed to do with long-range antennas, and that's why they're trying to get... Uh, POC or proof of coverage version 11 to be in effect and make it so that if you have more than 9 dBi, they're going to throttle you down. So if you get an antenna such as this, they're not going to throttle you. You are fine. Uh, that being the case, you know, some people are thinking maybe a 10 dBi antenna, and I get that. Uh, if you get a 10 dBi antenna but have, let's say, uh, let's say uh, 20, 40 feet of LMR cable on that, 
um, that's going to reduce your DBI by quite a bit. So, it, you know, it makes sense. Then you're going to be within that 8-9 range if uh, you are blocked uh, by things such as your roof or glass and you get the estimates right, then sure, maybe it's worth getting a 10 DBI antenna instead of a 9. Now, I haven't found these. Uh, this Elcom antenna was pretty much the, the best option that I found. And in doing my research, uh, unfortunately, uh, it, like I said, it's not that price. And as well, it doesn't come with a connection. So you need to buy the cables to connect it. Now, I was testing this both indoors and outdoors. Uh, I didn't want to die on my roof, so I didn't put it on my roof. I kept it in my attic. But um, I had to buy some other things to doing this testing. So first of all, mine is connected via a, a POC injector. So uh, I am injecting uh, power into internet using one of these and then shooting it up into my attic. There happened to be a, a port to place uh, speakers uh, in my ceiling on the second floor, which goes into the attic. So I just figured, hey, I'm gonna use that. That, that makes the most sense. And uh, then in my attic, uh, I have mounted my uh, directional antenna uh, using a C stand with a boom pole. Now, hear me out. I do not recommend that for everybody. Don't do it. They're expensive. I just happen to have one in my basement because, uh, you know, I've been a filmmaker uh, for a long time and uh, they're heavy. They're heavy. Uh, so... Uh, less chance the wind is going to knock it over, especially if it has um, some sandbags on it. And that boom pole helps me get it up and align it and then just kind of crank down the uh, the antenna on it and then uh, position it where I want it. So that's the only reason why I use that. I'll, I'll put that information in the description below, uh, but uh, I, I'm not recommending it. I am recommending that if you know that your rewards are best served in one particular area, good to use it. Now, not because of distance. I'm not really worried about distance. My guess is even a uh, four DBI antenna might get you the distance that you need. But uh, the reason why you want that gain is so you have a better chance at witnessing weaker beacons and have a stronger signal for yourself when people are trying to witness you. And that is what that 9 dBi is for, in my opinion. And I've seen that. I've seen, I'm not sure, to be quite honest, <laughs> if uh, the, the more h and I'm getting is because of the 9 dBi versus the 8 dBi, or because it's directional, or because it's stronger in that direction. But my point being is, I mean, sure, try a 9 dBi omnidirectional antenna if you can find one and let me know how it works for you compared to an 8 dBi. Um, for me, as you've seen, uh, everything I'm witnessing is downtown, so it makes sense. And that being the case, maybe all of the good hotspots with high transmit scales are all in one direction. So you want to aim your antenna that way anyway. Um, so these are things to consider, and I definitely recommend you looking into it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe. And one last thing. If anybody is interested in me vetting your locations, and uh, I do mean just online vetting your locations and helping to determine uh, what kind of rewards you can expect to get, uh, what situation you might be in, I'm happy to do this as a YouTube video with you. So uh, please think about it. We could do this via Zoom and uh, we can just discuss the positives, positives and negatives, what you're gonna be using, what kind of expectations you have. So so just email me at this address right here, uh, contone.kagyo uh, at gmail.com. Uh, that means uh, chaos mining in Japanese. And uh, no, I'm not Japanese, uh, but I was learning Japanese way back when I was coming up with names uh, such as the one I'm using uh, for my company. So <laughs> that being said, again, um, thank you for listening. I appreciate your time. And I do hope you end up getting a lot of HNT. 
wherever you are. I hope that your location does work out. But as you're struggling to figure it out, I definitely want to be there to help you. And I know many people are asking me for help. So if we can do this together on YouTube to help other people watching out there, uh, you know, great for everybody. All right. Thanks again and uh, happy mining.